is in Pretty Fly, and before we continue on with um, CPU for our reconnaissance, we are actually going to go over and cover some things that, well, one of the things that are unlocked after um, completing the CPU evolution plot. And it's this sector right here. Ungrophia. Ungrophia. Now, um, this is actually a sector that you have to unlock after um, beating either the Time of the Truth main plot or, in Xeon's case, the CPU evolution plot. And you have and once you do that, you can actually activate the trial by fire thing. And what it does is that it unlocks some Grophia. Now we're gonna go and see what's in Engrophia. Now you can find this um, sector in Lost Order, which is a unknown sector that you can get to through Gaian Star. But yeah, let's go inside and group yeah. and see what's on the other side. I may know this the music. Malfunctioning. Yeah, this is another arena sector. And yeah, um, it will spawn, indefinitely spawn, fallen ships. Now, as you recall, these ships are extremely deadly. And they're going to converge on your position. I think the smart idea right now is just get out of the sector before you just flat out destroy you. Now, there is a reason why um, that sector exists, seeing that a uh, seeing that it is it, it does inevitably spawn um, fallen ships. Well, you see, the fallen ships actually have a really drop not only a, not only drop a lot of credits when they're destroyed, but they also drop Pandora crates. And yeah, we're gonna get into the Pandora crate discussion again. Um, if you recall from what I said in my early videos, um, Pandora crates are crates that carry your basic um, ship upgrades, such as engine tuning rudder optimization and cargo bay extension. Well, those Pandora crates can super tune your ship. And they are uncommonly dropped by um, the fallen ships. But however, the fallen ships are extremely difficult. Anyway, that is one of the things that unlocks lock after you complete either the Time of Truth or CPU Evolution plot. In fact, maybe I'll actually um, show an example of, well, of destroying their ships. Alert. Ship systems now functioning. Before can, but before we can do that, we better activate God mode. Command Yeah, it's basically all the fallen ships in this sector, and they all are really tough.
a bunch of projectiles that would normally kill me really quickly. cover that we kind of glanced over oh I mean through while doing the CPU evolution plot is the ancient race now you see um, yeah the ancients are well they are kind of a well organized race I mean a lot of their sectors have all their stations in this kind of um, pattern. They also have all their, most of their systems all attached into one little cube. And, well, they also have a shipyard. However, we can only buy three of their ships, and it's actually their weakest ones. The ancient supplier, which is kind of self-explanatory, it's a TS. It's actually probably the fastest TS in this game. And the Archangel, which is the most powerful um, M3. And the Charon Raider, which is actually their weakest Corvette. But still, um, the Archangel and the Charon Raider can use up can use some really powerful ancient weapons. Although none of these ships can use MK3 ancient weapons. So yeah, um, you cannot really um, buy the Hyper Hyperbrella, nor that you can really board it either, because their ships are they for one they have. Um, built-in anti-boarding devices. Now, I'm not, and I'm certainly not sure how hard it would be to capture them, but that's not the only reason. Let's see what happens if we, if they actually do get boarded. Um. Ship computer control transferred. Alright, give it some time. Okay, um, apparently... Well, in the original, if you actually board it, actually did manage to board one of these things... Destroyed. Um, they would actually self-destruct in 10 seconds. In, in order to actually um, counter that, you would have to require an uh, ancient rank of 8. But it looks like they removed that. But yeah, now we're going to go over and talk about um, raising their, uh, their notoriety. Now right now we are plus 2 of the Ancients, and the only way you can raise up the Ancient... Um, raise up Ancient notoriety? is by trading them with, with their stations. And right now, we do have um, traders in, their, in these sectors. Not really doing anything. But the problem about um, do, trading with them is that their sectors are purposely made to be the worst trading sectors ever. And not only that, you do have competition, which is their suppliers. Alrighty then. And here's their equipment dock, which um, doesn't really have anything in it other than some of their weapons. Shield production complex. But again, you still require a specific battle of notoriety to buy their wares. And you can't communicate with them either. Just like with the just like with the Xenon. And their ships are armed to the teeth. Also 
um, you know those two sectors um, that we've um, made hostile by scanning their ships? Well, they're permanently hostile, so we can't go the precursors or beyond this. And we're back. Now, um, there is another thing we never really covered during our playthrough, which we, well, we never really encountered them, and that is the cock. Well, um, if you are familiar with Albion Prelude, um, the Ka'ak are actually supposed to be endangered. Well, in Enhanced Mod Collection, not only the, that it re-adds them, but it also um, adds the, the Final Fury um, plot again, which is the plot that eliminates them to begin with. Now again, um, they have their deadly um, fight between their, their regular fighters, and which is the scout, fighter, carrier. But they also have a few more new ships at their arsenal, which is the frigate, which they originally never had, believe it or not, and the destroyer, or, or not the destroyer, but the battleship. But also, yeah, the Ka battleship, which is, of course, an MO class vessel. Alert. Right now, they are not really appreciate me being their sector. Now, all their weapons sound like they're, they're well, pretty much like uh, bees, pretty much. Ka carrier. I mean, they use uh, their own specific kind of weapons, the Kion emitters, of various levels. And their sectors typically look like this, this purplish color. Let's see, is our ship like... Uh, we Let's just do attack enemies, follow them. Here we how quickly they're gonna kill you if you actually get anywhere close to them. One, you get your shield. 